Hey, today we're going to be taking a look at our brand new Amaranth Pixel Tubes. We're going to be breaking down everything there is to know about these lights, as well as show off some of their cool new features. If you've already purchased one of these lights and you're looking for maybe instructions on how to use it or what comes in the box, feel free to skip ahead with these timestamps right here, and let's get into it. The Amaran Pixel Tube series is comprised of three lights, the PT1C, PT2C, and the PT4C, at one foot, two feet, and four feet. Featuring full color and pixel control, an internal battery, DMX via USB-C, and magnetic mounting options. These lights cater to the needs of content creators, photographers, and filmmakers alike. Whether you need a dedicated tool for light painting, or you're looking to achieve specific lighting designs in your music videos or commercials, our Pixel Tubes have got you covered. The Amaranth Pixel Tubes have a clean, compact, all-white design. For some, part of the appeal of using tube lights is their ability to act as in-camera practicals. As you can see, our Amaranth Tubes stand up to the task. Starting small, the PT1C features four RGB WW pixels behind a seamless white diffusion panel, narrow end caps, and a streamlined control surface. As we move through the lineup, the pixel count increases from 4 to 8 and finally 16 with the PT4C. A unique feature of the PT1C is its rotating magnetic end caps. They're designed for the creator who may not want to bring extra hardware or rigging equipment to secure a smaller light like this. This is where the magnetic end caps play in your favor. All you have to do is stick the PT1C to a magnetic surface, and from there you can pivot the light to your desired angle. As we work our way up to the PT2C and PT4C, we don't see the same rotating end caps like the PT1C. Instead, the PT2C and PT4C both feature five-sided end caps that make angle positioning much simpler by allowing you to quickly set up the tubes on the ground and pivot them between 0, 45, and 90 degrees in either direction. In addition, you'll also find two magnetic T12 tube brackets included in your light kit for use in any situation where magnetic mounting solutions are preferred. These brackets even feature a 3 8 screw mount so you can attach a baby pin or spigot for mounting on stands. Whether you're working with the five-sided end cap on the larger tube lights or the rotating caps on the PT1C, note that all of the Pixel tubes have 3 8 threads on each end for additional mounting options. There's even a floor stand included in each of these kits to help you get started. Now, how do you operate the light? On the back of the light, you'll find the control system. New to the Pixel Tube series are these tactile buttons used to navigate the menu. If we take a quick look at the screen, we can see readouts for current battery level, Bluetooth status, and even the remaining battery time. The PT1, 2, and 4C all have the same selection of light modes, CCT mode, HSI mode, FX mode, and pixel FX mode. CCT mode gives us the option to adjust color temperatures from a warm 2700 Kelvin all the way to an icy cold 10,000 Kelvin. Users also have access to full green magenta adjustments in light intensity with the CCT mode. All of these settings can be adjusted in 1% increments. HSI mode allows for 360 degrees of hue control, saturation control, and light intensity. In addition to these options, you can also adjust the CCT of the light in conjunction with the hue and saturation. This can be adjusted from 2700 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin. Features like this can be extremely useful for anyone who shoots in conditions outside of your standard 6500 Kelvin color temperature or white balance. For instance, if you were to shoot at a different white balance in camera, you can now adjust the CCT value within the HSI setting so that your colors remain true to your target white point. Entering the effects mode, the Pixel Tube has nine built-in lighting effects. Paparazzi, fireworks, faulty bulb, lightning, TV, pulsing, cop car, party lights, and fire. In effects mode, users can scroll through each of the different lighting effects and select one using the OK button. From there, you gain the ability to toggle between intensity, CCT, colors, and frequency controls. And last, but certainly not least, is pixel effects. These lights all come with seven built-in pixel effects, color fade, pixel fire, rainbow, color cycle, and one, two, and three pixel chase. Now let's talk about output and color quality. Amran is no stranger to colored lighting. From our panel lights like the P60C to our new LED strip lights, we've always wanted to make colored lighting accessible to a broader audience. With that being said, we felt that tube lights were the best next step towards achieving that goal. Though tube lights may not be known for being the brightest light source on the market, they are known for their color capabilities. With the wide 2700 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin CCT range and 360 degrees of hue control at your disposal, we need to make sure the quality of the light coming from these fixtures is as accurate as possible. 
The fixtures in the Pixel Tube lineup have CRI scores of 95, TLCI of 98, Daylight SSI of 75, and Tungsten SSI of 85. Other helpful features include fully tunable green magenta shift and advanced white point control in HSI mode. These help ensure total control over your color reproduction. Now for my favorite feature of the Amaran family, connectivity. One of the highlights of the Amaran ecosystem is wireless control. Whether from a phone or a tablet, controlling Amaran fixtures is simple using the Cytoslink mobile app. But before we can control our lights wirelessly, we have to activate the light's Bluetooth connection. In the system menu, you'll find a Bluetooth reset icon. Clicking on this icon will prompt a Bluetooth reset confirmation. Selecting yes will disconnect the feature from any control devices it's already connected to and begin the reset process. Once you have successfully Bluetooth reset your light, you can now connect it to the Cytoslink mobile app. The Cytoslink mobile app is available for iOS, iPadOS, and Android. Start by creating and adding the light to your scene by tapping the plus icon located at the top right of your screen. Tapping on this will allow you to see any fixtures that are ready to be paired on Cytoslink. Let's select our tube here and add it to our scene. And just like that, we can now wirelessly control our tube from our device. All Amaran lights have been integrated with Cytos Mesh technology, meaning that they can connect not only to the mobile control device, whether it be a smartphone or tablet, but also to any other Cytos Mesh enabled light in the same network. Cytoslink is the perfect companion for color tunable lights. Hosting easy access to CCT, HSI, and effects controls, the Cytos app quickly becomes a launchpad for creative and intuitive lighting designs. Features like Magic Program expand the horizon of effects programming, making it easy to turn your lights from a static source into an array of possibilities. A great way to begin exploring the adaptability of these tubes is to dive into the individual pixel controls. On Cytoslink, I can go through the pixels one at a time, adjusting color, intensity, and CCT until I have something that's perfect for my scene. Or I could simply throw them into Magic Program and create some cool color chase sequences or custom flicker effects. You can learn even more about how to use Cytoslink by watching the tutorials in the playlist linked in the description. In addition to wireless Bluetooth connectivity, users who want to operate the Pixel tubes with a DMX console can control them using our special USB-C to 5-pin DMX512 adapter. The Pixel tubes come with 10 built-in DMX profiles, DMX loss behaviors, and customizable DMX addresses, all of which can be accessed in the menu under the DMX settings. You can find the DMX charts for these lights on our website. For a lot of filmmakers and photographers, having a light fixture that can act as a practical is invaluable. This is why we decided to house the batteries inside the fixture. Conveniently, the PT-1C's battery is removable with a Torx screwdriver. For more information, check out the link in our description. The Pixel Tube series boasts a sleek form factor ready for any on-camera work. Each of the lights are powered and can be charged via USB-C. You can see the charging speeds for each of the lights on screen as well. There may be some instances in which you need to keep your lights powered while controlling them via DMX. Since all DMX operations occur through the USB-C port on the Pixel tubes, our special USB-C to DMX cable also includes a USB-C input for power pass-through. Let's get into some of the specifics, starting off with our smallest light. The PT-1C has a 9.6 watt-hour battery and has a runtime of approximately 70 minutes at max output. The PT-2C has a 38.5 watt hour battery and jumps to over double the amount of runtime, averaging at about 170 minutes at max output. Lastly, the PT-4C has a 77 watt hour battery and also has a runtime of approximately 170 minutes at max output. All of the Pixel tubes come with a carrying case and USB-C charging cable. Additionally, the PT-2C and PT-4C also include a 3 8 eye bolt, magnetic T12 mounting brackets, and a power brick for charging. Since these fixtures fit within T12 mounting systems, this makes Amaran Pixel Tubes a great candidate for many other accessories like our splicing adapters from the Amaran Tube lights or other T12 fixture housings. The PT2C and PT4C are even compatible with the light control grids created for the T2C and T4C. You'll be able to find those grids in a one-foot grid for the PT1C available for purchase on our website. The PT2C and PT4C are also available in two light kit configurations, which include additional eye bolts, floor stands, T12 mounting brackets, chargers, and USB-C to DMX5 pin adapters for each light. And that's just about everything you need to know about the brand new PT1C, PT2C, and PT4C. If you have any questions at all, let me know down in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably like this lighting tutorial over here. I'll see you next time.